For attaching accessories to backpacks, I generally prefer tie points over straps. The tie points, if there's enough of them, allow really good customization of the location of external additions. Largely, my guess is that this comes from my introduction to backpacking and still most time backpacking being with external frame packs. I'll admit there's the advantage of having the external straps already on the pack in that you'll always have them with you. You don't have to remember to bring stringer straps to t attach something to the pack. There's a couple changes to the straps on these packs that I think could improve their functionality as well as other packs I've run into that need a lot of improvement. My 80 liter pack is not designed with much consideration for low weight. It has a nice wide strap that gives good weight distribution when using this brain as a day pack and shoulder bag. However, this strap though doesn't weigh a lot doesn't have any function for the pack when I'm using the brain kind of as its normal role when backpacking, which is the primary purpose of this pack. Not that I don't like having the ability to add a day pack, I find that very valuable. The brain attaches to the backpack with these buckles, which can be clipped together and extended. Then they can be put on as kind of a backpack as well. So that wide strap isn't strictly necessary, but while this backpack kind, can kind of work, it, it's not super comfortable. This is just pretty lightweight stuff in there right now, but when you're carrying a lot of heavy, weird-shaped objects, as I often will in here, it can really be quite uncomfortable, and I'd like something a little bit longer. These straps of setup, I think, are just a little bit too short for them to be comfortable for me wearing this as a backpack. However, if they're a little bit longer, or these, these straps were made kind of in addition to the, the, the straps that attach to the brain, the buckle was down here, and the long strap that attaches kind of this on the front side was added on to this, you could get quite a bit more here, and you could maybe even do like a cross strap thing to make it, in my opinion, probably much more functional as a backpack and then get rid of the weight of this added strap in here. There would be a disadvantage to having the buckles down on this lower end. Um, having it like that, like on this side, you'd have to pull up, which gives less leverage than pulling down because you're having to push down on the pack while pulling up on the strap, whereas here you can just push down against the ground. Um, one of the things I find annoying is that this brain, which is so clearly designed to be used as a day pack, only has one pocket. It doesn't have a second pocket, which is typical of the brains of almost every pack I've seen other than this one that are like modern. And in a sense, it, yeah, it saves some weight, but this pack isn't concerned about weight really all that much and it just it's very annoying when I'm day packing I often have stuff that like I don't expect to ever get into like my spare clothes and then I have stuff that I'm going to be using frequently like my water bottle and um, my food and some other stuff um, and I have no way to separate this it's a pretty good volume but there isn't any way for me to separate it and I have to dig through everything I want to bring with me on that that day the, that day trip and not be able to like potentially lose stuff. I can't have something where it's like I'm almost never going to open up this pocket so things will be relatively safe in here. If the um, kind of change or changes to this pack that I outlined were made with the, these buckles and um, and kind of the straps, well yes I'd lose functionality I could use this brain which is totally incapable of being used as a day pack currently um, with like no added weight I could use it as like a day pack backpack and this brain has two pockets so that would be nice and it would just in my view be really nice because when I'm backpacking I almost always want to have the ability to take a smaller pack with me and go off on a side trip for a couple hours or even potentially a whole day 
off without the kind of my whole pack with me. And it just is like, yes, I know I can bring along a small day pack, and I certainly have on many backpacking trips, but I just find that the, the functionality of having a day pack as part of your main backpack is very useful. One thing I find annoying, though it's not at all a big deal, is that, well, this attaches with three straps on the backside, which is good and, and needed for stability. The two outside ones are buckles, which can be turned into that day pack, and then the center one's a strap. And it, it just takes a little bit time to get it off, and it's still pretty quick, but just compared to how quick the buckles are to take it on and off, it just takes a little bit more time, and I'm not sure what the advantage of a strap would be over the buckles. I don't have any worry about the buckles failing. I, with this pack, when I take it on and off with the, these are all this little, the strap going through this kind of threaded thing. And I don't have an issue with this. It's like, yeah, it takes some time, but they're all the same. Um, and so it seems normal. Well, I do have the issue in that I think you can set it up like this and turn it into a much better day pack. Um, but both of these packs each have two strap sets on each side, primarily for attaching stuff on these sides. Though it results in losses in the number of straps that you can use, the way these are set up, there are alternate arrangements which can be used to secure potentially awkward and bulky items in different locations. Well, if designing a pack, I would choose different locations for the long side and how the bell and spigot sides of the buckles are placed for relations, both of these packs, though different in the exact way they do it, are reasonable in allowing the reconfiguration. Not every pack I've dealt with has been so accommodating. I value the ability to strap a lot of odd shaped stuff onto my packs, and this pack has a lot of potential points I could tie onto with either string or really designed for straps, and this one has a decent number, primarily string, and so I can, in addition to using the straps on here, use string if um, I am intending to strap lots of stuff onto it. Um, I just would rather not have extra straps I'm not using. Um, but maybe this comes a lot from that a decent amount of my experience backpacking has been hiking in to do trail work, where you really often have lots of extra stuff you want to carry with you.